can take the water off the kettle now, at least in part of Mount Charleston. Boil water order was lifted for Echo and Cathedral Rock on Mount Charleston over the weekend. That order is still in effect for Old Town Subdivision. That was put into effect since Tropical Storm Hillary. Mm -hmm. Remember back when we were like, hey, remember that storm that missed us? Gosh. <laughs> right. You know, it didn't miss them. They got uh -huh. nearly 10 inches of rain and wiped out a whole bunch of infrastructure. And still, par portions of Mount Charleston have to boil their water. But we got our uh, taste of the weather yeah, we here sure did over the weekend. Friday, yeah. No doubt. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, a woman who visited Las Vegas on Air Canada shared her story about two passengers who were threatened by the pilot to leave their flight going from Reed to Montreal or to be put on the no-fly list. What did these passengers do? They must be absolute recluses. Well, according to the Facebook post, they took issue with sitting in seats that were freshly puked in. Mm. You would too. Turns out the airline staff tried to clean it and mask it. They couldn't. The stench was still there. They were obviously like, we are not going to sit here. And so the pilot's like, you're acting rude. We're not acting rude. We're not going to sit in. That's disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah. So they got off the flight. The RJ reached out to the airline who said they've reached out to the pair to try to make things right. But can you imagine? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> nope. Gross. Nope. I'm telling you, like, when whenever my, my kids throw up, I'm the one that cleans oh. it. I'm totally cool with it. I can do that. But if it's somebody else? else, I cannot do it. <sighs> Even when it's my kids, though. <laughs> mm. No. Ah, oh, man, tough weekend in the world of music. Uh, let's start. I'm going to start with uh, with Gary Wright because Gary Wright's going to be the one that's overlooked here. And he had the one song. You know the song. You might not know the guy. Ooh, Released in 1975, Gary Wright passing away over the weekend. All right, so there's one person that we lost, one yep. musician that we missed. Uh, this is a big one in its own right. Goodness. Jimmy Buffett had a secret battle, I guess, with cancer and, and illness. Right. And um, his last performance was just like a random, he called a, a restaurant in Rhode Island, said, hey, I want to do a performance. That was back in July. That was his last performance. Insane. And like this guy, I mean, wow. That's so sad. He made an entire business. I mean, Around genius. the vibe of his music. Mm -hmm. Like, no one. Beers, restaurants, um, obviously the music, clothing lines. I mean, it's... It's insane, insane yeah. what he pulled off. So smart. So business smart. Super smart. And then finally, Steve Harwell from Smash Mouth, who had a very, let's call it what it is, tortured several years, a battle with alcoholism. Mm -hmm. uh, lived here in Las Vegas for many years, as a matter of fact. And I uh, randomly followed him, like his personal page on, on Facebook. And mm -hmm. he, he was going through, over the years, he had his demons, mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, it's very, uh, very sad to see. But um, yeah, yeah the, Steve Harwell, Smash Ball, I believe, passing away at age 56. Man. Uh, yeah, look out for your people, man. Very, very, very sad news. Uh, crazy rain over the weekend, creating big flooding issues here in the Valley. Party goers at Burning Man really feeling the brunt of it. The event, which takes place about 100 miles north of Reno, was an entire washout. whole bunch of celebrities were there, along with thousands of normies. Mm -hmm. Very rich normies. <laughs> right. But normies. Uh, the slow exodus from the site has begun now, which is just in time because it was getting a little testy. Yeah. <laughs> As things will when you have to go in a bucket. It looked so bad. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it does not look like fun. I don't no. know why I thought Burning Man was a lot closer to Vegas. I didn't know it was north of Reno. I actually, I don't think I knew where it was, but yeah, it's pretty far. But man, that just did not look like a good time. No. When you have all these expectations, you're going to have a blast and it was not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, it was a muddy disaster. Uh, Legion Stadium sprung a leak during the UNLV football game. A steady leak of rainwater made its way through the translucent roof and poured into one of the end zones. What is the point of having an inflatable non-opening roof? Yeah, I don't know. They couldn't have just... Why can't we build roofs in this city? I thought that it was going to open and close for some reason. Because the way that they initially made the, like the graphic for like, hey, this is what a legion, it looked like it was going to be like a glass roof. Yeah. And it looked like you could look right through it. Mm -hmm. And that's not what it is. So if it's like, if we can't look out or in, why? Yeah. <laughs> why don't we just make it solid? Yeah. I don't understand. Roofs are not our thing here. For the first time in Las Vegas Aviators history, a game on Friday was rained out at Las Vegas Ballpark. The game was made up the following day in a doubleheader. The Aviators split that. Uh, world champion Las Vegas Aces swept away the storm Saturday, 103-77. The record is 32-6. and six. Two more games in the regular season, Friday and Sunday, against the Phoenix Mercury. Las Vegas Red 
Well, we definitely had weather over the weekend, but uh, not so much anymore. Back to norm, but a little under norm, I feel like. High of 88 today, and it's going to be 80s and 90s, I guess, the rest of the, the week. Yeah, not it's too below shabby. normal for sure. Yeah. I love I'm it. with it. I like it. 1027.